Let's take a look at our next lesson. Subtract tens. Here we have subtract. 60 minus 20 is equal to a number. So I know that I can draw tens for 60. How many tens would I draw for 60? Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, because we can see there is a six in the tens place. If we have exactly six tens, we are going to have six tens and no ones or zero ones. So here I know that 20 is two tens and zero ones. So just two tens. So 60 minus 20 will be six tens minus two tens. We're gonna take away two of these tens. So I'm going to cross off two of them. One, two. How many tens do we have left? Let's count these together. One, two, three, four. All right, if there's four tens and zero ones, I know it will look like this, four tens and zero ones. That number is, let's count up, 10, 20, 30, 40. This number is 40. So 60 minus 20 is equal to 40. Next, we have 20 minus 10. So I know first I'm going to draw this number. 10, 20, there we go. Now I'm going to take away one of the tens because they want me to take away 10. So I'm going to take away this one. How many tens do I have left? Just one, so that is equal to 10. Great work. Next we have 50 minus 30. So if I have five tens, one, two, three, four, five, and I take away three tens, because three tens is 30. Let's see how many we'll have. One, two, three, all right, I took away three. Now I have one, two, I have two tens left. And I know that is equal to 20, because we have 10, 20. And there is a two in the tens place. All right, now we have 60 minus 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, because 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now we are going to take away five tens because 50 is equal to five tens. One, two, three, four, five. I see that we have one 10 left. So that is 10. Great, do you see the 10 down below? Yes, right here. All right, next we have 60 minus 50. So let's draw six tens to represent 60. Now I'm going to take away five of those tens because we're taking away 50. One, two, three, four, five, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And we have one 10 left. Do you remember how much one 10 is? Yes, 10. All right, now we have 40 minus 20. So 10, 20, 30, 40 minus 10, 20 is how much? Yeah, 20, 10, 20. All right, this problem has 50 minus 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and I'm going to take away a 10. So I have this many left. If that is four tens, there is a four in the tens place and there are no ones, there's a zero in the ones place. So I know that is 40 and I see that answer here too. Wonderful, now we have 40 minus 10. Let's do that, 10, 20, 30, 40, and I will take away one of the tens. And I see we are left with three tens. So how much is that? Yes, 30, 10, 20, 30. All right, now I know we have two tens and we're taking away one of them because 20 minus 10. 
So how many would be left if we had two tens and we were taking away one of those two? Yeah, one ten, which is equal to ten. So if we have ten, twenty, and we take away one of those, then we just have ten. And that is written like a one and a zero. One, zero. Great, and I see that right here. Next, we have 40 minus 20. One, two, three, four tens is 40. See how there is a four in the tens place? So 10, 20, 30, 40. We're going to take away 20. We're going to take away two tens. 10, 20. How many do we have left? Two tens, how much is that? 10, 20, good. There's our answer down here. You did wonderful today.